What's up guys, Iggs here. Right, I just thought I'd fix you out on a little bike ride. I've uh, bought myself a new bike, well I've had it a few months actually, but I just thought I'd uh, bring my camera along and do a few videos on my bike, anybody's interested in e-bikes. Anyway, we're up at, uh, let's have a look, we're up at a place called Arrow's End today, it's in, uh, it's in Lancashire. Uh, it's in the hills of Scorton really, just in the tops of Scorton. I live in Garstang, which is, I don't know, right down there. On a normally on a clear day, it's clear today. There's a lot of haze about. Uh, it's a nice day, but you can, Blackpool's. You can usually see the tower from here, Blackpool Tower, and then you pan across Morecambe Bay there. Then you've got Heesham Power Station over there, uh, Morecambe, and the Lake Districts. But you can't really see it today. But normally you can see Keswick and uh, all the all the all the mountains and the hills up there from up here. But you know, it's a bit hazy day. But I'm not complaining. It's a warm day. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'll show you my bike. Right guys, this is my bike. It's a Hemingway Zebra. Uh, it come from America. It's a 26 inch by four inch fat tire e-bike, uh, which is great because you can run these at really low pressures. So it's really comfortable. Uh, it's got a 750 watt Bafang hub drive motor. Seven speed Shimano gears. Now special there, just standard. It's got hydraulic brakes all, which is good. Um, Tetra hydraulic brakes, 180 millimeter um, discs or rotors, depending on where you're from. Uh, it's got a 48 volt, 20 amp power battery. It did come, that gives it loads of range by the way. You can just go forever on this thing. It's superb. On a flat, you could probably get 40, 50 miles on a flat easily in it, just going around between 10 and 50 mile an hour. Uh, it's brilliant. Um, it did come with mud guards or fenders and a pannier rack and the light was here on the back of the pannier rack but I took them off because it just looks really heavy and I don't know, it didn't really suit it but uh, I like the look of it like that all stripped back. So right, so uh, I'm going to put my camera on the bike I'm going to ride, I'm going to go down here off our end down to Scorton uh, and back through the trails and back roads and tracks and then into Garstang I'm going for a pint in Garstang so come along if you want <laughs> see you in a bit right let's set off I don't know if you can hear me or not I've only got the camera mic so anyway We're just coming off Arizona now. Superb day to be out. Really nice. Cattle grid. <coughs> That's why you need a suspension seat post. Now, there's a long, great long hill now going downhill.
we're just cruising at about 16 mile an hour, 17 mile an hour. I'm going to turn left here, head towards Scorton. Heading down towards Scotland and now I'm going to do a left here, I think. Uh, I think this is just a road, I'm not sure to find out. Head up towards a place called the Apple Store, which is on the side of a quite a big lake. Well, it's not that big, but and there's a cafe there and things like that. So we'll head this way and have a look. Not been down here for a few weeks. There is a steep hill down here, so um, it's really steep. Probably won't look that steep on the camera. But you'll just see, just coming here, it is now it's a long steep hill and uh, it's just effortless really. Just give it an extra boost in power. This is the Apple Store. There's a cafe and bar and stuff here. You sit out in the gardens, you know, around the walled garden. It's really nice. You can get married here and stuff like that. It smells nice, anyway. Always busy. to the uh, country lanes, heading towards Snow Hill, Scorton.
seems to get Sunday driver to help every day of the week now. No such thing as a Sunday driver, it's just uh, drivers. Very bumpy down there, chains slapping all over the place. Right, this is Snow Hill. This drops really steep hill, this drops straight down into Scotland. Hard on the brakes here, we need the uh, Reliable brakes. My God, what's he doing, this guy? Come on, mate. It's a polo. It's not Eddie Hall's tank. Right. right so this is dropping in Scotland. We've got the Priory on the right. The restaurant. And you've got a little light. We've got one of them old uh, Citroen. Sells uh, cappuccinos and things like that. That's pretty cool. Right. Okay. Right, so we're heading out of school and now we're heading towards Garston. Busy place scorn, be wary when you come here on your bike. Can get really busy. A lot of people don't know where they're going in the place, so there's cars all over the shop. Oh, it's all right. Under the railway bridge. Check my bell. <laughs> One good thing about this bike, it's got road presence, can't see you, you know, it's, it's a big bike, it weighs about 80 pounds, it's quite high off the ground, it's chunky, so it's, that's a good point to it, bad point is when I'm trying to get it in my car, it's got down Blackpool or something like that, it can be a bit of a nightmare getting it in the car, but it's worth it. On the left here, this is uh, Garstang Showground here. Where they run the steam rally and gas and show and the agricultural shows, and I think they run the auctions here, the agricultural auction, machinery auction. Uh, quite a big site, really. That. I don't know if we can uh, pull up and show you. Yeah, have a look. But we've got. Uh, I think it's next week. We've got a Lancashire Game and Country Festival on the 9th and 10th of September. They'll be gearing up for that. Yeah, so this is the entrance. There's another entrance down there, but that's the field there. No, the entrance is going over that way. And the car park's on that big field there, but that's the entrance to the showground, so it looks like they're getting it geared up for the um, festival. So I'll be going to that if the weather's meant, because it's, uh, it's a good day out. Right, let's crack on to gas. We're going over the Gulf Bridge. The Gulf's under this bridge, apparently. White lady. Over the river wire, which runs down to, um, eventually runs down to Fleetwood. 
to the estuary. To the left here. And this is Hangman's Lane. Apparently, one of these trees is well used to hang people. Well, that's what my dad told me when I was young. I believed him. I don't know which tree is. Very bumpy down here. Oh. Kept it steady. Must be an old tree, whichever one it is, if they used to hang people on it, because I don't think they've done that for a few years. Certainly not why I've lived round here. But it might be it might have been cut down by now, but anyway, that's a story. We used to when we were kids, we used to drive down, we used to race down here when we were kids in the car but it's all uh, shut off now. So anyway back out into uh, civilization. Oh, living in their own little world, let's just walk out to the road, no, we don't care. And that's it, that's the circle of Garston. We're just coming back down to uh, the high street now, where we came from the left here, from the road about. And we'll go back up the high street. 
to the pump. Alright guys, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, I don't really care. But uh, yeah, I might do a few more of these videos. I've got uh, a couple more e-bikes at home so I can do some more reviews or let us know if you want us to see out or go anywhere. I live in the Garstang area so interest that you want to see then give us a shout. Alright guys, off for a pint. See you in a bit.